So word on the street says that you guys really, 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 really want my hashtag do it for your health drink recipe. So today is the day. what hashtag do it for your health means for you but for me hashtag do it for your health means I'm doing all sorts of things that help with my body my mind my soul my health that I do on a day-to-day -day basis and the main thing that I do that I'm doing it for my health is my hashtag do it for your health drink as well as going to the gym staying active moving my body and just all sorts of things that makes me, my body, and my soul feel healthy and good and that's kind of why I came up with the hashtag do it for your health and that is literally the only reason as to why I post it on my story day to day basis just because I want to motivate people, inspire people to do it for their health. Maybe it's going to the gym and doing it for your health that way or going on a walk. It literally doesn't matter how you're doing it but as long as you're doing it for your health that's all that matters. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you do it for your health because what you might do for your health might look different to someone else. And I'm curious to see what you do. So comment down below and let me know. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you and showing you how and what all I put into my hashtag do it for your health drink. Just because if you guys follow me on Instagram, <laughs> There's so many of you guys that question, like, what's in your drink? Where's the recipe? Where can I find it? Like, I know I've been, like, putting off doing this video for so long, but, like, there's so many of you guys that were asking, like, what's the recipe? Let me know what it is. Give me all your tips and your tricks. So I was like, all right, I think it's time to finally do it. Like, I have to do it. I need to do it. So here I am. I'm going to give you literally everything that I got that I put in my drink and I'm so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's go ahead and get started with the video. Have you ever had a hashtag do it for your health drink be so healthy and taste so freaking good? Because if not, I got you. I've been drinking this every single morning for months now and I think I've perfected it, like literally perfected it. And I am so, so excited to share the recipe with you guys today. So stay ready, that way you don't have to get ready. So to begin, you need to decide on which fruit you have in your fridge and or which fruit you would like to add into the drink. My go-to fruits, personally, I love either peaches and or apples. I honestly prefer peaches instead and I use them all summer long whenever they were in season, but since they're not in season, my go-to fruit is definitely a big ol' juicy apple. But anyways, once you decide which fruit you want to use, you'll chop, chop, chop and add that bad boy into your blender. Then I add in some celery for my veggie portion of this drink because I absolutely refuse. I repeat, I refuse to put celery in my mouth. I don't like the taste of it at all, so I add that bad boy into the mix and I cannot taste it whatsoever. So like, it's it's a win-win for me, honestly. Celery has so many great benefits though, such as lowering cholesterol, it protects your liver health, it helps prevent UTIs, they prevent you from having ugly poops, aka constipation, and honestly, ain't nobody got time for that. And if you're a male, celery helps men be more fertile so um, future hubby if you're out there and you're watching this and you're listening to this um, please eat a lot of celery every single day because I want twin chicken nuggets okay okay after I add my celery stick into the mix I then add my water now I usually don't measure out my water I typically just Put water up until my fruit is covered but I would say it's roughly about a cup of water so add your cup of water into the mixture and from there I start adding in all of my dry ingredients which also happen to be superfoods now I don't know about you guys but I love 
love me some superfoods. I also don't measure out how much I add into my drink. I just use a smallish slash a medium spoon. You don't want a spoon too, too big and you also don't want a spoon that's way too, too small. First up on the menu is some ginger. And ginger is known to improve your blood flow. It helps treat colds and the flu, which ain't nobody got time for the flu either. Come on, let's be real. It also helps people with respiratory issues. It aids in ovarian cancer treatments and it decreases the risk of developing colon cancer. Let's just say ginger is extremely good for you and beneficial, so you better be adding some ginger into the mix. Also keep in mind, ginger is super duper strong, so you don't want too, too much of it, but you want just enough. So I just put like two little sprinkles in there instead of like actually putting in a spoon, just because it's more easier to do it that way, but definitely add your ginger in there. You need that in your life. Keep in mind that you guys can use an actual ginger instead of the powdered ginger, but I typically just like the powdered one just because it's so much easier to just pour into my drink and it just works perfectly that way for me. So decide on which one you want to use, but I prefer the powdered. Next up on the list, we have some emergency which helps boost your immune system. It helps protect you against infections and also the flu. So go ahead and add a pack of whichever flavor of choice that you have or that you prefer because honestly, I've tried all of the flavors into my drink and they all taste super duper good. So it really doesn't matter what flavor it is that you decide to pick. Just put one in there because like I said, ain't nobody got time for the flu and or infection. So add one of those in. Give me an F. Give me a L, give me a A, give me a X. What does that spell? Flax. Next up on the list, we have some flax seeds, which are an amazing source of healthy fats, antioxidants, and has loads and loads of fiber and omega 3s. So go ahead and add a spoonful of that into the mix. Did someone say hemp? hemp like h-e-m-p hemp seeds <laughs> yes i sure did hemp seeds are filled with protein vitamin e potassium magnesium calcium zinc iron and just the list goes just it just goes on and on and on it's just so freaking good for you these are actually the main superfoods that are super rich in healthy fats so add a whole spoonful of that because guess what we need all of that Next up is something that I just recently started taking and adding after I had experienced in ovarian cysts, which by the way, that is the most painful thing I have ever experienced in my life. Think of an ovarian cyst being as painful as having contractions. It was that bad. But maca powder actually helps regulate hormonal levels and I haven't had any issues or any ovarian cyst, which thank God because I never want to go through that ever again. So maca powder is just so good for you and so beneficial for you. And I'm probably going to say that for every single thing that I put in my drink, but it is just so, so true. Maca powder is actually really good for increasing fertility and believe it or not, it helps reduce sun damage. So I'll be taking maca powder every single day. This is definitely optional to add into your drink, but in my opinion, it is absolutely amazing for not only your body, but for your hormones as well. So I recommend it a thousand and ten percent. So go ahead and add a scoop full of that and don't worry ladies, just because you take maca powder doesn't mean you're gonna end up pregnant, okay? Use protection. Okay, cool. Anybody here love acai bowls? Because same. Although the hashtag do it for your health drink won't taste like an acai bowl, this acai powder will give this drink a yummy, 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 yummy taste to it. Plus, acai powder are loaded with powerful plant compounds that act as antioxidants, which help benefit both you, your brain, your heart, and your overall health. So add a spoonful into the mix. Next up, we got some Beats, and no, I'm not talking about the Beats, Beats by Dre, the, the headphones, yeah, no. We're talking about the Beat Root, which are actually rich in nitrate that improves the blood flow and contains fiber and iron. So, guess what? Add a spoonful of that. Okay, 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 so these are super duper yummy and have so many great benefits as well and they are the Golgi Berries, which help protect your beautiful eyes because they contain very high levels of antioxidants, which by the way, antioxidants slow tumor growth, which you'll notice everything that I add into this drink has some type of antioxidants in it, so you can't have 
too much of antioxidants, let's be honest. But these also promote healthy skin. They prevent liver damage and have a good amount of dietary fiber. I usually add about one to two spoonfuls of that into the mixture. Last but not least, we have some turmeric, which by the way, mustard is made from turmeric, which explains why I don't like mustard and or turmeric. I'm not a mustard kind of gal, but turmeric, I will admit, is the most effective nutritional supplement in existence. So add a half of a spoonful of that. I usually don't add a full spoon just because it's super duper strong. So half of a spoonful is good for me. You know when you know you forgot something but you can't really figure out what it was? Well, after I put the lid on and mixed it all up into the blender, I noticed that my hashtag do it for your health drink was way darker than usual. And that's when a little light switch just turned on in my head. And I realized I forgot to add my lemon. Let me just say this. Adding a lemon makes a huge difference. Without it, the drink tastes way too sweet and it just doesn't taste right like whatsoever. So get the chop in and peel that bad boy and add it into the mixture. Do not forget like I did. Then once everything is fully mixed, you'll pour it into a cup that has a lid because what you need to do is put that bad boy into the freezer for about 45 minutes to an hour. I pinky promise this step is super duper 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 important. It's an absolute game changer and makes my hashtag do it for your health drink that much better. It literally tastes like a drink that you get from a juicing store for like nine to ten bucks. You don't believe me? Just 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 do it. Just try it and believe me. Now that is how you hashtag do free health. It tastes so freaking good. I'm not sure if you guys have checked out my very first video that I did with my hashtag do it for your health drink. But that was a drink that my mom actually made for me back in the day. But your girl is super independent now <laughs> and she does it herself. And this is exactly how I do it because I usually eat my vegetables all throughout the day. Back then I didn't eat any vegetables, I'm not gonna lie. But now that I eat vegetables a lot more than I used to, there's no point of adding vegetables to your hashtag do it for your health drink. Now if you struggle with eating your veggies and your greens throughout the day, maybe add some spinach to it or add whatever it is that you think might help and your body might need, which honestly, any vegetable is I'll just put them all together. That's what I used to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you guys liked it and if you guys enjoyed it. And I will see your gorgeous self in the next one.